Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've done a Stuff I Like video. Basically a favourites video, let's be honest. So I have rounded up for you a nice little collection of some of my favourite things from this year so far. I'm not going to ramble, I'm going to be short and sweet. If you've never seen one of my Stuff I Like videos before, it's not really very like beauty based. It's more of a completely random things in my life that I like. Who decided this was my job? However, this time I have got a few little beauty bits to show you. So I'll do these three items first. So the first thing is a new silver shampoo I've discovered. You all know that I love a silver shampoo. I love when my hair goes a little bit gray. And I found this company because they actually emailed me about working with them on Instagram, which I did last week. I did an Instagram story for them. So I tested it out and basically took pictures of the results and honestly, it's one of the best silver shampoos that I've ever used. This video isn't sponsored by the way, I haven't been told to include this brand or anything. I just really thought this was a miracle discovery. So if any of you watching this have got blonde hair and maybe you're feeling like it's a little bit yellow, it's on the warmer blonde side but you're wanting it a little bit cooler, I would highly recommend this. It comes with some little gloves, because of the strength of it, it can stain your hands a bit. I wore the gloves the first time I used it, you're probably supposed to use them every time. And then I didn't use the gloves after that and my hands were a little bit purple for like while I was in the shower but after a quick wash then they were fine. So this says it removes yellow and brassy tones from your hair and use longer for a silver look. The first time I used this I left it on for 4 minutes and then after that I left it on for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and I loved the result this gave. Although I did find if I left it on for like 15 minutes my hair did start to go a little bit violet, a little bit blue but you can just tone it down with your normal shampoo if that happens. I would highly recommend the silver shampoo like I said, one of the best I've tried. And I'll be sure to leave links to everything I mentioned in this video in the description down below. So the next thing that I've been loving for the past month or so, if you watch my vlogs, you might know that I recently did my own eyelash extensions. Absolutely loved it. I love the way eyelash extensions look and I was quite impressed that I managed to do them myself. They did start to fall out a little bit and it was a little bit inconvenient. And in the end, one night, I just felt really like claustrophobic having these lashes on my eyes. I don't know why that feeling came over me, but it did. So, in my state of panic, I ripped them all off. Not a good idea. Would not recommend doing that. I should have waited and taken it off with a proper remover, but at that moment in time, I just needed them off of my eyes. And because of that, I also ripped out my own eyelashes. So currently, I have like no eyelashes left. I have to wear false eyelashes every time I do my makeup now, which isn't ideal. But it's not very often that I wear a full face of makeup anyway, to be honest. So to regrow my eyelashes, I have been using coconut oil. This is just one that I got from Asda. I I think it was in the baking section like I'm not sure if that's where you're supposed to get it from but mine was in the baking section it is 100% raw extra virgin coconut oil perfect for frying baking and roasting and also helping your eyelashes grow I think they come back naturally on their own anyway this kind of just encourages growth and I have noticed that they are looking a little bit longer and a little bit fuller than when I first had my moment of panic I feel like this has definitely helped I've been using it at night when I put it on and the coconut oil goes in my eyes, I do go blind temporarily, like my vision is blurry and stuff, but I think it's worth it because after that, the coconut oil just obviously comes out of your eyes and everything is fine. So if you're looking to grow your eyelashes, I would recommend trying coconut oil. And then the final beauty fave that I have discovered this month are, I think I'm a little bit late on this bandwagon, but the Essie gel-like nail polishes, they're the ones with like the twisted bottle. I think that is such a cool design idea. Like. When I saw these, I was like, that's genius. You go, SE marketing team, because I love these. So I've got two colours and the top coat. All the colours are beautiful, but the ones I went for are Take Me To Thread, which is like this mauve colour. It's actually what I've got on my nails right now. And the other one was inspired by Jade Billington. I thought this was a very jade colour. This is called Pre-Show Jitters. It's a very pale pink. I'm not really a pink nail polish kind of person, but because this is so pale, it's like, white borderline pink. So that's the other colour I picked up and I'm really excited to wear this probably in the summer. So those are the colours that I got and then obviously the top coat too. These are fairly expensive. I think they're $9.99 each which like is a little bit steep for nail polishes but they do seem to last really well and these haven't chipped as easily as normal nail polishes chip so I think they're worth it but I think I'll just have to build up my collection gradually. Right so the next category I'm going to move on to is clothing. These are just some things that I've bought this year and I absolutely 
absolutely love. So the first thing is a dress that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. If you watch my vlogs, you already will have seen this. It is this black velvet dress. It's like a sweater dress. It's got this orange panel down the side. Sorry, the lighting's gone mad because I've picked up something dark. And I really like this zip detail that it has on the front of it. Obviously, it's long sleeves. And because it's velvet material, it is quite warm. So it was perfect when I went out for my friend's birthday because everyone else was cold not me. I had a long sleeve, high neck dress on, so I felt very smug about that. I love the way it looks on, I think it looks really cool, really like quite different. It's not very girly, but I like that. The only thing that I would say is that this comes up so big, it is so not true to size. I'm usually an eight, and I ordered an eight, it was way too big, so I ordered a six, even that was too big. So this is a size four. Believe me, I am not a size 4. This just felt too baggy. I think maybe it's supposed to be oversized, but I didn't like it looking like that. It just looked weird to me. So the arms are still really long, but the body of it is huge. So make sure to downsize if you get this. Once you find your size, it looks so nice on. So it wasn't expensive either. This was £25, and I think I'm going to wear it on quite a few nights out because, like I said, nice and warm. I'm such a granny. So there'll also be a link to that in the description down below. And then the next two pieces of clothing I am loving is first of all this sweatshirt that I'm wearing today. This was from H&M. I can't remember how much it was but I'll put the price on screen here. I bought this really recently but I've worn it a few times since I got it and I absolutely love it. It's got this little rose on it. It's got a similar sort of like thing to the dress. I'm loving this at the minute. I don't know why. I just think it looks really nice. Obviously you can wear it all the way up but I like it. Just a little bit down, a little bit cash, you know? And I don't know how well you can see, it is a little bit cropped. It's not too cropped. These are my high-waisted joggers, but this would look nice with just plain black jeans, I think. And then the third thing is also from H&M. I haven't actually worn this yet. I haven't found a situation where it's right to wear it, but I do love it. The label is still in this one, so this was 19 99 I mean, I feel like some people are gonna hate this, but I love it. I think this will look so nice with some high-waisted blue jeans and white white vans in the summer, just very casual. Again, we've got this little circle zip, loving that, not sure why. It's obviously got the Pepsi down either arm and on the front, and also on the back, there's a little Pepsi there. Do you know what? I just think it's really cool. Again, it's quite cropped. I'm so excited to wear this, but like I said, I've not found a situation yet where it's really like appropriate. I think when the weather starts to get a bit better and I don't have to wear a coat, then this will be perfect. Right, so that's beauty and clothing things done. Now I'm gonna move on to my favorite category, which is random things, just lifestyle bits, things that I'm loving. So the first thing that I have been loving, I'm always loving this, but particularly right now, is an app called La La Lab. It's basically an app where you can print pictures from your phone. You can print them as prints, or frames, or phone cases, or magnets, or canvases. There's a whole range of things. This isn't an ad, by the way. I'm fully aware this sounds like a sponsored video. It's not. I wish. I've used La La Lab for years. I'm not even joking you. This is one of the pages in my YouTube scrapbook. This was from the 22nd of April, 2016. Got prints from La La Lab in there. I also have a scrapbook of mine and Tom's relationship and I've used La La Lab for all of the stuff in there, all of the pictures. They come out such nice quality, I'm never disappointed with it. And I've also put together some photo albums of my whole life to give to my children and my grandchildren one day. And I've printed like, Oh, ridiculous amount of prints, like thousands of prints I've had printed from there for those books. I'm such a keepsake person that stuff like this really floats my boat. And then recently I had a few credits on the app to use up, so I have been getting prints for my friends, for my family, I got my mum's friend some framed pictures of her daughter, and the thing that I love the most is something that I've got for one of my best friends, Sophie. Sophie, if you're watching this video, this is a present that you don't know about yet, so I'm about to ruin the surprise, but I'm going to give this to Sophie when I see her at the end of the month, and it is a phone case with a picture of her little boy on it. Look how cute that is. This feels such nice quality as well, and the picture is so clear. If Alfie was my child, this would be my ideal phone case. So yeah, La La Lab, especially this past month, has been a big hit with all my friends and family. The next thing that I've been loving is probably the most random thing in this video, but we recently got our hallway and landing redecorated. I haven't done an update on it in a vlog for a long time, actually, so I'll be sure to show you in my next vlog a little update on what it looks like now. But in our hallway, I found this clock, and we bought the clock, and it looks amazing. It is so Essex, so blingy. I looked around online because this same clock is sold on a lot of websites, 
and I found it the cheapest was £56 so we went for that one but generally I think it's about £65. I'll insert a little clip of it now so this is what the clock looks like. Honestly I think when I have my own house I'm gonna have to take this clock with me. That has been a very big favourite. Every time I walk past it the hallway I'm like oh such a beautiful clock. We've got a little small category of food and drink. I know, I'm such a provider on this channel. So the first thing I'm loving is Tropicana have bought out this new essentials juice drink thing. It comes in a few different flavors. My favorite one I've tried so far is the green one. I haven't got any with me right now because I just finished the last bottle of it yesterday. I should have thought ahead and not finished it, but what can you do? It's in my body now, it's gone. So my favorite is the green one, it's got Apple juice, pineapple juice, kiwi, white grapes, spinach, I think that's it. And it's supposed to help with feeling tired. That's why I bought that one because I've been feeling really tired recently. However, I drank it and then I had a nap. So I'm not sure if it actually works, <laughs> but it tastes very yummy. So I'd really recommend that. And I feel like it does a lot of good things for your body, even if it doesn't help me feel less tired. So if you see them drinks in your local supermarket, I would highly recommend them. Other than the health benefits, they are just delicious drinks. My other food favorite right now, classic. This is the best thing about Easter. I'm not really an Easter person. I don't really like celebrate it that much other than eat a bit too much chocolate. Cream eggs, however, make Easter worthwhile in my opinion. The next thing is also something quite random, but recently I had a PR package from the body shop and sometimes in PR packages, they'll incorporate a smaller brand, like an artsy brand, or they'll put in like a new book that's come from a book club or something like that. So this was for their Mother's Day PR package, which is the British Rose Scented Gift Set. And with them came this. This is a little bouquet. Bouquet? Is it bouquet or bouquet? Little bunch of flowers. But these are actually made of paper. Isn't that amazing? I honestly was so shook by this. So this is how they came laying in the little PR package. First of all, so cute, so thoughtful. Thank you to the body shop for the PR package. I absolutely love it. My mum loves it as well. I've shared the stuff between me and her. I went into TK Maxx and I bought this little glass for it. It's only a plastic glass, but it looks quite like blingy quite jemmy you know and it matches my bedroom because it's grey so I've just popped them in there and it just sits on my bedside table like that I should probably mention this is from a brand called paper bouquet paper bouquet I had a look on their website when I received this because it came with a little business card so I had a look on the website at all their pictures and they do so many different styles it's not just roses they do loads of different types of flowers I think these are such a good idea especially for your wedding day because then you can keep your bouquet of flowers forever but now I constantly have a bunch of flowers on my bedside table. So thank you to the body shop and paper bouquet. Paper bouquet. Why don't I know how to say that word? Anyway, thank you for these. I absolutely love them. And then my final favourite for the first few months of 2018. It's quite a big one. It's my new car. I've spoken about this quite a lot on my channel, so I'm not going to talk about it like for too long. I've done an entire car tour video, so if you want to see that, I'll leave that link in the description down below. I vlogged about when I bought my car, so I'll also leave that in the description. But I've now got a little grey Fiat. It is an automatic and it's the cutest car ever. Her name's Flora. I'm loving driving now. Like I really genuinely enjoy it and I used to absolutely dread it. So now me and my little Flora go around Essex toot toot. <laughs> so Flora is my final favourite and she is one of my biggest favourites too. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this completely random mashup of beauty fashion, food, all the good things in the world. Leave me a comment down below. What is your one favorite thing of 2018 so far? It could be food, it could be a product, it could be a clothing item, it could be a child, maybe someone in your family just had a baby. Let me know what you're loving. Do subscribe to see my future videos. I think next I have a what I eat in a day video coming up for you and I know you all love them. So be excited for that and make sure you're subscribed. And is it a still thing turning on notifications? If it is, turn the notification on so you get a little ding when I upload a video. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and weekend and I'll see you again next week with another video. Bye!